welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. So today, as you can tell by the title, is another long-term food storage video. So a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video showing how I put rice in my canning jars and I use a vacuum sealer with a wide mouth um, jar attachment to seal that long term. Well, today, y'all, I'm going to be using actual five gallon buckets. So the five gallon buckets that I purchased come from um, Tractor Supply. And then I ordered Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers off of a website a couple of weeks ago, and they just got here. So I'm just going to try for the first time to transfer everything into the Mylar bag and seal those properly. And then I also have some flour that I will be using my food saver to seal. So I hope you guys enjoy and now straight into the video. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box and this is what kind of box it came in, just a priority. Um, and it, the box is super heavy, but that's what it looks like. I ordered this is five gallon um five five gallon um y'all I can't talk this is five five gallon mylar bags with it looks like the 2000 cc oxygen absorbers or maybe that's what I'm supposed to use it with I don't know if they come in there I can't remember y'all and then I have more of the five gallon mylar bags and then this is 50 of the quart size smaller bags. And then I ordered 50 of the gallon size. And then here's a pack of the oxygen absorbers. I'm gonna go ahead and open those and show you guys what I have. I'm sorry, it's so noisy y'all. Okay, so this is 10 of the 2000 cc's. This is 200 of the 100 cc's. Let's see. This is another 100 count of the 200 cc's. And yeah, I think that's it. Here's another bag of the 50 gallon of the oxygen, I mean, Mylar bags. So that's what I got y'all. So I've got three different packs of the oxygen absorbers. And then I have all of these packages. I think there's a total of four Mylar bags, different counts of Mylar bags and different sizes y'all. And I just wanted to get those because I'll also be sealing like my pasta and everything as well. I'm just going to be doing several different types of long-term storage. So that's why I got the Mylar bags as well as the jars. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these out of the bag, the oxygen absorbers, and I'm going to transfer them into a mason jar. Um, you want to make sure you do that. That way it doesn't start working. So you only have like a few seconds or I guess minutes before these start to kind of work and you don't want them working um, anywhere except the bucket. So I'm just going to stuff these all in here. And I'm thinking I probably should have got a bigger jar than this. So I'm just going to stuff them in there the best way that I can. I'm going to put the lid on and then my ring. And then I'm going to set these to the side. Just like that. And again, these are the um, 2000 oxygen absorbers. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut this bag open. Try not to puncture any of the bags, so be careful when you're doing that. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. This is what the bag looks like. So it's huge, y'all. And that's the opening of it. So I have to put this at the bottom of the bag. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the bottom of the bag, just like so, and then bend it over like this. And I'm, I think I'm doing this correctly. I watched AP's video on this and this is what he did. So 
you put it in there and then you'll transfer it like so into your bucket. And I don't know if you guys can see, but that's how it looks right now. And then once I open it, that's what it looks like. So the next thing I'll do is I will go ahead and pour my rice in here. Okay, y'all, so I have several bags of this jasmine rice and y'all can use obviously whatever rice you use. This is just kind of my rice of choice. Um, I do have a generic version as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with my jasmine rice and this is a five pound bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. That's the first bag. I want to show you guys what three bags looks like so far. So that's how it looks right now. I don't know if that you can really tell y'all. But that's what it looks like. I'm gonna add another bag. I think that's all I'm gonna put in here, y'all. So if you want to take a look at this and just show you this is what it looks like right here and here is the rim of it right here i don't know if that's accurate that you guys can see that but let me push it down like this so that's where the edge of the bucket is right here so i think i'm just gonna leave it right here just because it's my first time and um, i'm learning so i feel comfortable for now just filling it to that spot right here so next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push it down as much as i can um, get as much air out as I can and then put an oxygen absorber and then seal it with a flat iron. Okay, y'all. So I'm just going to try to get as much air out of it as I can. Hopefully I'm doing this right, y'all. And then I've got the oxygen absorbers here. So I'm going to open this really quick. And it's doing its job. I hope y'all heard that seal. And I'm gonna put one of the 2,000 cc's in there. Let me push this. I'm gonna close this. And then that's in there. And this. Y'all, this looks not so hard when somebody else is doing it. When you're doing it yourself, it seems a bit, you know. So I'm just gonna do it like this for now. And then I'm gonna take my flat iron. Y'all, and this is just a regular flat iron. I wiped it down with alcohol prior to using. Actually, I bought this from another YouTuber who sells them. Um, so yeah, it's just the flat iron and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go across with the seal. I guess I'm gonna go like this first, y'all. And just seal it like this. I probably could have gone across like this. Just trying to seal it and I try to push out as much air as I could to y'all. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, y'all be careful with this. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my flat iron. And so this is what it looks like, y'all. There's hardly no air in here. And I'm just gonna fold it over. Oh, I probably should have labeled it. Hang on, y'all. Let me label this real quick. So y'all, I almost forgot, but I went ahead and labeled this just jasmine rice. Um, I put today's date on it and then I put it that 25 pounds was in there. And I'm just gonna just kind of fold this over like that. And hopefully wait for the oxygen absorber to do its job, y'all. All right, you guys, so the lid that I'm using is the Gamma lid. This is what it looks like. It has the little seal, which is what you're looking for. So I'm just going to place this on top and then I'm going to turn it this way to close it. Oh, okay. So y'all, this is a pretty legit tough, sturdy bucket, y'all. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Again, I picked these up from Tractor Supply. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, 
So, um, it wasn't on there. All right, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it said closed. I was turning it. Okay. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it says turn this way to close. Why can't I steal a bucket, y'all? There we go. Maybe going. Don't... No, I don't think that's doing it. <laughs> Close. I'm getting hot doing this. Close. Y'all, I think this is the operator. I don't think it's the buckets. It's just the operator that's struggling. Is it on there level? Is it level? I'm getting a whole workout doing this. I'm out of shape. Okay, I think it's on there now. Oh, it is. Because it shouldn't be turning this long, I don't think. Oh, wait, it's on there. Yay. No, it's not. All right, y'all. That is it. I've gotten a whole workout from putting a gamma lid on a food grade bucket from Tractor Supply, y'all. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it, and I will see you guys soon.